Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation. I hope everybody uh, then we can have you know some um, questions uh, at the end. Uh, we're gonna do our best to be on time uh, to make sure you know that you have all the information uh, um, uh, possible, uh, and then we can of course follow up with um, with the questions. Um, so um, so. Basically, uh, uh, the, the presentation is going to be myself and Leandro. I'm Gaston Wright, the uh, Change Order Director in the Southern Corn, uh, and Leandro is the uh, Change Order Director uh, for campaigns um, in the Southern Corn as well. Uh, and we want to talk to you briefly uh, about a project uh, we carry out um, in Argentina last year. Um, just to put you in context, last year we have uh, general elections in Argentina at all levels, uh, presidential, municipal, uh, governors, uh, representatives uh, in both the House you know, and the Senate. Um, and the reason why we, we wanted to carry out this project is because um, in, the, in the past, uh, I would say in the three previous um, um, election processes, um, we have seen uh, a substantial growth in, uh, in traffic on the platform, um, between 30 to 35% of growth, you know, in terms of traffic. Uh, and it was very difficult for us to make sure that we were sort of driving that traffic uh, to content created, you know, by users into uh, a specific uh, landing page where we were able to um, showcase all the petitions uh, that were targeted to candidates for, for the election process, plus the um, uh, decision makers, you know, with the capacity to uh, respond, you know, petitions. So the objective of this project was, as, as these um, uh, slides, you know, says, um, give a space um, for candidates to engage with um, citizen-led, you know, um, uh, petitions. Um, this is just, you know, how the, the platform uh, look like. Uh, very simple, um, uh, uh, showing, you know, the, the, the same sort of layout of uh, petitions that we have, you know, on, on, on the regular change.org, you know, um, uh, uh, platform, but now couple, you know, and everything into a single movement called Elections Argentina. Um, um, uh, and then, uh, the responses, you know, of, of decision makers, you know, also being very visible, um, which is uh, something that in in change.org, as you know, the the, the traditional platform, um, you have to go to the uh, uh, petition to see if the petition has any responses. Here, what we wanted is to, to showcase all the all the petitions in a single space, um, and that's we have the tab. On, on the landing page that says, you know, responses. Um, and, and then, you know, in the landing page, we're all, also we're able to see all the, um, all the petitions, all the signatures aggregated, um, and all the traffic, you know, and all the interactions, you know, happening. Um, we want to give you some, some metrics, uh, um, because I think this is important for you uh, in order to put in context, I mean, why this has been, you know, so, um, uh, successful for us in terms of doing something very different. Um, we did this with the support, you know, from from Luminate. Um, uh, uh, it was it was a a bet uh, because we have never done this in the past, and, and Luminate uh, decided to uh, to take the bet with us. Um, and and I think this is this shows, you know, that we can do this in the future, not only for elections but any other movement you know with citizen led you know campaign that are sort of aggreg aggregated you know in a single space so um leandro um go ahead you know and 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 please uh tell the folks you know some of the impact we have had okay thanks gaston um as gaston said this is the the, the metrics that we always see um to measure the the online impact of, of the platform uh, well, first, uh, the number of petition. This shows us if the people is is, uh, is using the platform for petitioning the the authorities. Uh, two hundred, more than two hundred uh, petition were created, um, specifically asking for for public policy laws, general changing, targeting candidates uh, in the context uh, of the election. 
to give you an idea, uh, between uh, 100 and uh, 50 and 200 petitions are created on the platform uh, weekly. Uh, well, uh, signatures is another metric that we always use. Uh, we, uh, we got uh, like almost uh, 8 million signature in this movement. Uh, we have um, in general uh, and historically in the, in the platform like 1.2 million signature per month. And as you can see in the chart, uh, there are two spikes during the, the first was uh, during the official launching of the electoral campaign. And in August, we had the primary election. So the, there is a, another spike there. Um, we got that, for example, in June, we, we got more than 3 million signatures. It is a lot, a lot of signatures. Um, and the other one is a unique visitors. that uh, it's almost like 3 million unique visitors um, in the platform, we, which means like 8.7% of the official, official uh, eligible voters in Argentina. This is something that we always show to the, to the politician and media because signatures almost, almost, uh, also means voters. And um, we got like uh, 800 thousand new user that it means uh, people singing a petition for the first time in Argentina. Uh, to give you an idea, we, we get like 250 thousand signature monthly historical. And uh, as Gaston said, the idea was to, to have responses and uh, 86 responses of, of politicians uh, talking directly to citizens in the context of the election. Uh, the total of responses in 2019 was uh, 146 uh, responses. So it shows that like the politician took advantage uh, of the opportunity to respond in the context uh, of the election. The next one is uh, the like, uh, victories. It, uh, victory means that um, in, the, in this context was like uh, 19 uh, citizens that got um, a positive response and action from the authorities uh, in the context uh, of the election. Gaston? Hello, can, can you hear me? You were on mute, Gaston. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so um, I I want to talk to you now about the uh, the most signed petition. Um, can you see the the screen? Right. Yes. I think I think you can. Um, this is uh, a, a very interesting petition because uh, it is a petition about clean slate. Uh, so basically. Um, uh, a, a super user in Argentina created a petition focusing on one of the specific themes uh, of the campaign in Argentina, which was, you know, issues around corruption. Um, the, um, the petition uh, got 345,000 uh, signatures. And one of the things that um, we were extremely uh, surprised is the level of engagement uh, of candidates and decision makers, you know, in terms of uh, answering, you know, um, uh, this petition. So the petition was basically asking the Congress, you know, to put on the agenda of passing a law similar to a law that exists in Brazil, where um, um, citizens in Argentina that have, you know, any sort of uh, 
um, uh, issues, you know, with corruption in the past, you know, with the judicial system won't be able, you know, to participate on the electoral process. Um, the, the petition got so much attention, you know, in the media um, that not only we were able to get, you know, 16 decision makers um, uh, answering the petition, basically saying, uh, what they were doing uh, in the Congress in order, you know, to move forward with the um, uh, um, with the petition, but also uh, the uh, the campaign reached uh, the Congress uh, with two petition deliveries. Uh, so this is just a petition delivery, and here you can see, you know, um, uh, a lot of people in this photo. These are a combination of uh, journalists, um, uh, the the petition starter. Um, who is uh, who is there? You know the um, uh, the bold guy. You know, similar to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's a petition starter. Then we have um, senators. Uh, we have uh, judges. Uh, we have journalists. Uh, we have um, uh, a bunch of uh, House representatives, you know, uh, and also uh, the person in the middle of the of the petition uh, um, uh, behind the banner is the president at that point of the um, uh, Commission for Institutional Issues, uh, Constitutional Issues. Uh, the petition reached um, the um, uh, the point of approval in the commission. The commission approved the uh, the passing of the law. Um, and then uh, it was stopped, you know, in the house, uh, and then put on hold, you know, until you know the next um, uh, um, uh, the next year. So now the 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 law is at the stage, you know, where uh, it is still, you know, being negotiated uh, among the political parties. Um, now I wanna I wanna move a little bit more into how we um, we engage um, decision makers, which I think it's uh, uh, there are a couple of very interesting things to tell you. Um, so basically what we develop is a tool um, that it's called um, uh, a, a decision maker profile. Um, so these are, for example, three um, uh, important candidates in, Ar in Argentina at three different levels. Uh, one is a governor, another one is a candidate for president for a left-wing party, and then the other one is a councillor you know, for um, a relatively you know, uh, mid-sized you know, city. So basically, the way it works, and then you you will see that later on, uh, is that we um, we develop this functionality where um, uh, this profile, uh, which is uh, uh, a verified you know profile, um, similar you know to the Twitter uh, verified profile, allows the decision makers that are targeted to specific um, uh, petitions on the elections you know movement to get in touch directly you know, with the signers by a system that allows them you know, to send you know, massive messages to um, the signers. Um, you will see that later on, but um, the, uh, the proposal is very attractive. Uh, and the fact you know, that we were launching this at the same time of the electoral process, uh, it was you know, very interesting for them as a way of doing campaigning, but also as a way of creating this new model of uh, digital accountability. Um, so uh, in order to do that and to engage with decision makers, we have a twofold strategy. Um, the first one was something that we call uh, high touch engagement with decision makers and their communication teams. Um, so we carry out um, several activities. One uh, was that um, before the um, uh, the uh, 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 the primaries and during the primaries, um, we invited um, to the change order office um, uh, consultants, you know, and and people working in the comms teams, you know, for uh, the uh, uh, the candidates to um, better understand the uh, how the decision maker profile, you know, work vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the petitions that we were putting on the elections um, uh, movement. Uh, that help you know get a better understanding of the public you know also you know answer a lot of questions uh, and making sure that we were creating you know some sort of a connection with them and and showing um, examples um, also it was critical to um, uh, travel across Argentina um, going you know to 
um, uh, uh, the most important provinces, the most electoral, the most important electoral districts. Um, so the team of Change.org, you know, here Leandro, you know, and two of the campaigners visited the main electoral districts to engage with decision makers at the very local level, and that's the reason why we have a high numbers of um, uh, very, very local decision makers uh, that were responding very local petitions. Um, and also media. Media was uh, uh, a very, very important factor. Um, so not only we couple these uh, trips with uh, meetings, uh, one-on-one meetings with uh, comms teams and, and decision makers and candidates, uh, but also we took the opportunity to show the local media uh, content created created by change order uses users in those specific provinces that were targeting candidates that people know at the local level so that's a, a very very um, successful strategy to the point that um, um, uh, we got 189 uh, media hits uh, talking about you know um, uh, several uh, petitions you know on the platform uh, in different you know media outlets uh, at the local level Leandro, um, if you can talk a little bit about the digital outreach strategy. Yes, thank you. Um, so after several meetings, um, we, realized, we realized that WhatsApp and Twitter uh, are the most effective channels to get in touch and work with politicians and their comms teams. Um, so trust is also important to, to work with them. So as you see before, we traveled to the main electoral district to have one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, there, there is something very important, like before a meeting or a phone call with, with a politician or, or an advisor, uh, we research uh, like the, the, their profile. Uh, so we ask, uh, uh, ourselves that what are their particular interests, uh, what project do they have, what commission do they take part uh, in the con in the Congress? We 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 um, we see uh, their uh, Twitter or Facebook or Instagram to see what they they like uh, do they like to to talk about. Um, so another and very important thing is to 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 make some professional present uh, presentation for them. Um, I think that data uh, is the key. Um, sorry. Uh, so th yes, data is the is the key. Uh, so we show them. Uh, users uh, of change.org in their district, uh, the, the, the percentage of the voters uh, participate in, in change in, uh, in the provinces or cities. Uh, we show them a lot of charts, like for example, uh, the top five of topics that people like to, to participate in change, uh, why voters are participating in change, in their district, I think that um, this is very, very important for, for them. Um, the, the last thing is that we show the, the opportunity to, to respond. Um, we, we, we show them that it is easy, that uh, there, is, there, is some trolls, uh, there are trolls in the, in the platform, no haters, uh, it is real people that participate in change, it is safe, uh, and the one of the, the most important thing is that it is free. It is a, a free tool uh, because they always uh, ask uh, if it is the uh, what is the price of the tool. Uh, and we we give them an easy example to start. Non non, non a non controversial petition, something very easy to to respond. Um, we we give uh, them support with materials, guides, presentation. Uh, we show that we show them that they contact very easily uh, via WhatsApp or phone call. That we are very open for question and everything. 
And finally, we said that there are many politicians taking advantage of the, of the tool. Uh, why don't you? This is, this is, for example, one of the, um, um, can you hear me guys? Yes. Uh, this is uh, uh, one, one example here. Uh, this is a reply of the um, uh, city of Buenos Aires mayor. Um, uh, this is how it looks like in the platform. And then all the 45,000 45, people, you know, received, you know, this uh, respond on, on their inbox. Um, and then people can comment, you know, on the um, uh, responses, um, uh, which creates, you know, a huge engagement, you know, with, um, uh, uh, with the users. Just to give you an idea, the, the open rate uh, of these emails, you know, sent by decision makers is uh, on average around 34, 37%. Um, so people are eager, you know, to see these emails, you know, from um, decision makers. Uh, then I want to do very quickly, you know, um, some uh, metrics around revenue. Uh, this uh, change.org is um, uh, change.org is fully funded, you know, by uh, individual uh, donors. So we are able to use the platform as a way of uh, engaging uh, donors. Um, so 962 monthly donors acquired in March since March on the specific landing page of petitions uh, around the election process. Um, that totals around fifty thousand dollars, you know, in um, uh, donations uh, in a period of, of twelve months. Uh, it is more because the uh, lifespan of these donors is um, uh, is longer. But this is a significant amount of money considering our um, uh, annual budget in in Argentina. Um, One hundred and sixty-one petitions were promoted. A um, hundred and six petitions. Um, generated recurring donors, and that 45%, you know, of the petitions were able to engage donors, you know, uh, that are monthly donors, which is a really good number for us. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sure that you will have, you know, um, some questions. Um, uh, we're under the t tyranny, you know, of time, uh, but I think it's great. So we'll, we'll follow up later on, and you have our emails, you know, there. Thank you, guys. <laughs>